Battles of Plenty Loom in Hamilton this evening. There's the Battle of the Kai Mais. There's the Battle for the Chiefs Country Cup. There's the Battle for the Nathan Strongman Trophy. And most importantly, the Battle for either Waikato or Bay of Plenty to make a winning start to the 2024 NPC. Set! Waikato again trying to get the shunt on. Scrum screws a little bit. Johnson comes off. Le Wheeler. D'Angelo doesn't mind taking it on the line. He's also a dip at second five away now. Boyle Tia Tia wide to Tucker. Diving over the clock. There's Malachi Rampling with another carry. Rowe. Little short ball. Rowe again. To Paya through. They finally break down the blue and gold wall, and it is Wakato through Quinta Paya who opened the scoring. And they just go to the trenches here looking for the little, little short ball as wingers look for, and hard to stop from that far out. Eklund to deliver. Great targets, and it's the number eight. They lift and brought, and they've gone way too early advantage. Bay of Plenty with another chance. Will they need it? They might not. Rumbling towards the line go the steamers. And over. Instant response. Joe Johnson, the mechanic, his nickname. Just see he's nice and controlled there. McCurran, oh, no, I've got to get out of there. Bay of Plenty take the lead, and there's five points to Joe Johnson. Johnson, wide ball sits up nicely for Trask, little kick over the top, Morby, oh my, it's got it, the Steamers are in again, lovely crossfield kick by Trask, and it's Bite who gets the second try for the visitors. As we see here, Norris to the back, little trick play out the back, bounce ball which is strategic, and then that man, Caleb Trask, as we mentioned pre-game, and skill work there's of Cody Vi. Yeah he was given a bit of a heads up there. Morby helped him out with a little tap. Obviously you see the open side flanking you think he's gonna carry use his footwork into contact as he does so well but just the just to drop that onto the onto the boot there and, and find some space and behind is great for that bad plenty of line speed. You see those statistics at the bottom of your screen in terms of territory and position, both being dominated by the visitors. Great attacking opportunity. Big scrum coming from Waikato. Badu, Trask. Oh, going back and getting that beautifully. Narawa for the corner! And Narawa. See the scrum here. Bardou out the back, Trask, just a miss pass, but great reflexes there by Cole Forbes, and wow, look at that, that is tight. It's a great work here by Cole Forbes, he did enough there just to get through the gap, probably could have drawn in the last defender, but selfless act to get that away, and Narawa finished it off nicely in the corner. Aaron Patterson, test match level, television, match official, in the air, in the air, in the air, down. Oh, wow, simultaneous. Oh, Zinni, good luck. Gee, that's tough. You toss a coin. Jesus, that is so close. Hopefully the groundsman has moved the grass down a little bit. Oh, there. Look. Oh. Oh, I think you've got to give that, don't you? I think you've got to give it. Yeah, you yeah. just heard Angus maybe say that. Right, so no clear evidence that he was in touch before the ball's grounded. So try stands. There we go. Narawa gets the reward. That's a lovely kick. Didn't go over. Ouch. They really do go hammer and tongs. Just to repeat the last five encounters. Single digit margins in them. Certainly some couple of absolute cr cracking encounters. But all carries again with intent. Tahuriarangi away to Sangster. A 
opportunity here for Bay of He's Plenty. Fine. No advantage. It was Ollie Norris not Easy getting boys. back. No advantage. One red offside, never back. Interesting Just tactic there from Bay of Plenty. After they go from a scrum, they yeah. hit, they strike in the midfield. They're actually no coming back to that front, their front rowers. I wonder if that's a tactic to ensure that shot, those Waikato front row are getting caught yeah, offside. Tries to take this lead out by another three. It's a lovely strike and a good finish. They might have conceded the first points, but Bay of Plenty have dominated the final half an hour of this first half. They lead 22-7 over Waikato and Kirikiruroa. That's what they'll tell you. Another early drive by Waikato, and they compound the error even more. Another try. Second of the day for Joe Johnson. Great. That's a big blow for the Bay. Just see their great take. They get that early advantage. Joe Johnson with ball in hand. He could have brought in there, just piles on the back of him. Joe Johnson just takes off down that short side. Nice work, Halaholo goes wide by with the step, trying to bump off the opposition. Oh, just picked clean and kicked away by Rampling. That was Malachi Rampling with a lovely close-in catch. Trask back. Stopping, popping, can't get away. Arkoy's there, Morby's there. Battle of the breakdown, who's got it? Sound at four. The blue and gold again. Last lead here. T off to Kumaroa. The props combine. Use it. Huriarangi. Shapes. Kicks. Back there is Tobaya. Takes it nicely. And they drive Quinn back to halfway. Flying it over the top, go Bay of Plenty illegally. Tapping and going quickly as Rowe. No let up in this contest. Rowe drilled into touch. Now everyone can take a breath. Quite a few debutants to see there. To Pyre, Kurt Eklund coming over top. They get up. Marawa just comes over the top there. And I guess that awkward do we touch the halfback do we not type of law that has been brought in there's a, a happy bay of plenty of support of the way things are going at the moment you'd think the current to row come on it takes on the line the current hit down driving forward to fire Left by his opposite and Seamus Bardul. Gideon Rampling. Just three out. And they are so They can just driven back. Rowe. McQuano. Can he reach out? He can. Lachlan McQuano. A needed try by Waikato. Then he still have to roll their bench up, but that man on screen has been awesome for this Waikato squad as he uses a little bit of footwork there. Set. Oh, oh, big scrum coming in from Waikato. Away to Narawa, trying to power through. He finds Bardo. Can he get there? Yes, he can. And you suspect that could just about be it as the lead hits 20. Big scrum there from Waikato, a bit scraggly. Narawa just gets on the corner there and comes up trumps. And obviously, as the referee has talked about, there's that momentum shift. Tucker calls to the back, taken nicely. Is there one nice little sweet strike from the home side? Moving that ball. Trying to accelerate into space as Anderson finds Sullivan. Messi just dabbing it through Kemera. Oh, it sits up nicely. Inside for Morby. They do have a little summit, something to finish. Little fortuitous. Josh Morby with a try on Wakato debut. 
Too little, too late, but delightful nonetheless. Taha Kimura there just putting that little stab cook through. No doubt they'll be taking the drop goal there. We'll just watch that little bit of a fumble. Taha just on that right foot, bounce of the ball, just pops up nicely. And just obviously they're calling the instant just to trust Morby on his outside. Not going to stop that man anytime soon, are you? a little bit oh coming forward Akoi they'll play the knock on and that will be that Bay of Plenty retain the Chiefs Country Cup they retain the Nathan Strongman Memorial Trophy and more importantly for them they've made a winning start and a bonus point winning start to the NPC at 2024 36-21 the Battle of the Kaimais over Wakato.